Science. There are five billion mobile phones in the world today. We went out around town to ask the people in Lyon, France, if they use mobile phones with or without earphones. How do you use your phone? Like that? And you, the same? And you, yes, the same. And where do you put your phone when you go to bed? Oh, by the bedside table. And you, yes, the same? Yes, the same. And where do you keep it? In your pocket? Yeah, in my pocket, in my pocket, the same. Yeah, in the pocket. Scientists are still researching the effects of the long-term use of mobile phones. Many people, especially young people, use mobile phones without taking into account the potential health risks involved. But since last May, the International Agency for Research on Cancer has been giving clear warnings about a possible causal relationship between mobile phone use and a malignant type of brain cancer called glioma. We went to the agency to find out more. To find out about the relationship between the brain and magnetic waves from mobile phones and to get some practical advice, we've come to the International Agency for Research on Cancer in Lyon. Professor Kurt Streif has spent years studying the potentially dangerous effects of cell phone use. We talk about uh, radio frequency electromagnetic fields and it has been shown for these that there is altered cerebral blood flow. There is some other effects also including some uh, altered effects on the DNA. Altogether there is some weak evidence how these radiations could cause cancer in humans but essentially the mechanism is not well established at this moment. That among the heaviest users of mobile phones, there was a 40% increased risk among those using the mobile phones on average 30 minutes a day for 10 years. And that comes from looking into gliomas, that is a subtype of brain cancer. Professor, are there some ways to protect ourselves, for example, by using earphones? Um, using hands-free kits for uh, voice calls can already reduce your exposure by more than 90 percent. Simply because the source of the radiation is further away from the body and the distance from the body is one of the most important determinants for the exposure. According to the professor, using mobile phones on trains can increase the risk because the phone continuously finds new connections with lots of ground stations which are changing very quickly because of the speed of the train. Therefore, the phone emits higher intensity magnetic waves. Is it dangerous to keep a mobile phone in your pocket? It certainly reduces exposure to the brain. Uh, however, there may be then more exposure to other parts of the body. The professor says that the new generation of smartphones, in particular the so-called next fourth generation, could emit a lower level of magnetic fields, but that yet has to be proven. Hello. Finally, he says it's always better to use earphones, as this reduces exposure. Cordless phones also emit magnetic waves, although at lower levels than mobile phones, so it's wise to limit their use. It's the same thing for Wi-Fi stations. It's much better to switch them off while not in use, if you have one at home, for example, during the night. Never sleep with the telephone switched on underneath your pillow or close to your bed. In any case, whenever possible, try to use a fixed-line phone.